go on to another topic. Hmm. What else should we talk about? So, you guys remember this album? Do you guys remember that album she put out? You remember that album that T.S. Madison put out? Do you remember that? Do you remember that album? Let me let me let me see what album that was. Hmm, let me look that up. Oh, yeah. Remember this album? You remember that? In 2014? You remember that? The new Supreme, the EP? Oh, okay. Well, she didn't get any money for that. She still doesn't get any money for that. She never received a dollar because against my better advisement, she went and thought because she has to be the boss and she has to do it all. She don't let nobody do what they got to do. Okay. She don't let nobody do what they got to do. Oh, uh, ZZ, I did. Oh, yeah, I, I did subscribe to the Patreon. And ZZ, you know why it matters? Why it, what she puts up there? Because she's the same person that gets on her camera or where you guys see every general public can see it. Everybody can see it and say, I don't say nothing when she's actually a liar. She says constantly all the time, I don't say nothing about him. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. Well, her Patreon that you have to pay the five dollars to see, you will see clearly. I just read a comment earlier. Well, she's in there talking about me. So, I, I, yeah, it does matter because the lady's a phony. That's why it's easy to answer your question. So going on, going on back to the new Supreme, because we I could go back to 2013, 2014, because you know why? I was here. I was there. See, you guys just think, you know, but I was there. So 2014, this album, this album right here, she doesn't own that album. She gets no money from that. She gets no money from that. You don't get any money from that. All of that stuff, when we toured the country with that, you get, no, Star Versace, this is not part two. This is done, too. This is done. This is done. So I'm done. Okay? So, okay, well, then let it be messy. Misha Gillum, you must have missed the point that she won't speak to me because she's not adult to have a real, a real live conversation with a person. So let it be messy because I've been done since February. The lady over there with the subliminals are talking shit and then on her Patreon talking about me freely. So let's not go there. Know what you know. Don't question what you don't know. And don't think you know what you know because I know because I was there. Thanks. Anyway. So. No, it's not draining anything, Michael. I'm good. I'm Because this is going to this is going to be the finale for me because she can't come back from this one because this one this one I could prove. OK. So. Let's just go to, so the new Supreme, the new Supreme, she don't get no money from that. So this big boss lady, this big boss, she the boss. I'm sorry, she messy, this is what you got when you stop running your mouth. What? She's messy, this is what you get when you stop. I don't know what that means. So, so the boss. Robin Hood has definitely empowered me to become a more intelligent investor. I feel a lot more confident talking about the boss. The boss, you know, the boss, how she runs her business. She said she, she's by her business. She the one. Yeah, the new Supreme. She don't get no money from the new Supreme. So whenever y'all buy that album, make sure you buy that album where it's got that girl, that, 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 that girl. Remember, she's that girl. Remember, she's that girl. Yeah, she was touring the world doing that girl for free because she was, except if it was at a gig that I got her. Yeah, from the same person that never mattered and I was nobody, right? Yeah. Yeah, the same person that was never there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so she don't get no money from, from the new Supreme. That, 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 that girl. So all of that. Okay, well, not ZZ, then you don't have to, you don't have to be here for it. I'm sorry it's too much for you. I'm sorry. There you go. Just, just go away. It's okay. So, the new Supreme, that's done. Okay, what do you mean what really happened with Kaya? I told you exactly what happened with Kaya. I told you exactly what happened. I don't retract any statement I made. I think that if Kaya was more well-spoken, she would have gotten her point across better. But because she's not more well-spoken, because she's not well-spoken, it did. their point got lost in the sauce because she's not very well-spoken. That's why. And two, there was never, Madison didn't let me do my job. I was not able to make, I didn't handle any money. I didn't handle any money. This is all this money. This is, this, this is none of this. None of this. Okay. It was not how, it was not, what you don't understand is, it was not this management thing that you, that everybody thought it was supposed to be. It remember that people were also saying, excuse me.
We're going to address the money. Let's address the money. You know how the ladies always like, bitch, I pay mine. I pay invoices. I pay invoices. You remember that? I pay invoices. I do this. Ain't nobody got, that ain't nobody got no, ain't nobody got no money problems. Yeah. Ain't nobody got no money problems. All right. All right. So I want you to see. I want you to see. Here you go. Here you go. You see what that says? You see what that says? I have received 143 payments. I have sent her 347. And I have received, what does that number say? 27,900. Oh, it's not going to hurt me, Tobias, at all. I'm good, thanks. 27,000, you see that? 27,900? You see that? Did you see that? So I want to, let me read that to you again. The, the payments were, hundred. she's paid me 143 times. I paid her 347 times. And the received amount was 27,900. This is Cash App. This is all the money I've ever received from her on Cash App in seven years. Do you want, do you want to, it's 143 payments. I've sent her 347 and I've received 27,900 in seven years. Anybody want to figure that? Anybody, any, any, anybody want to tell me? Anybody want to tell me how I wasn't here for the lady? That's oh, okay. Show me Washington. All right. Well, I got more. Show me Washington. Don't worry. So that's just the cap. That's just cash app. So in seven years, in seven years, the cash app is twenty seven thousand. So I, I'm not. I, I'm not there yet. I just want you to see the cash app amount. So that's seven years. Seven years of twenty seven thousand nine hundred. Right. Okay. Just want you to. Do, somebody in here doing math. I see you, Benita. So somebody in here doing math. Okay. All right, so that's twenty-seven thousand nine hundred on Cash App in seven years. Okay, let's go back to. All right, so in twenty twenty. Oh no, James, there's nothing to sue her for. I don't want nothing. She tried me. I'm done. I'm just. I'm just done. Okay, so twenty twenty. This is PayPal. I want you to see. This is PayPal. Let me see. Can I see? Can I show you that? You see that's PayPal. You see that this is twenty twenty, and you see that that is from. Oh, does it say it under there? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You see it right there? You see where it's from, right? You see where it's from? You see the so you see so you see the person, okay? In 2020. In 2020. This is what I made. Now granted, I was only there till February, but this is what I made in 2020. Let me let me oh okay. Let me go backwards. 2017. This is PayPal. This is PayPal now. Okay. So remember, it's 27,000. It's 27,907 years on Cash App. Right? Okay. So we're going to go back to, you see the dates? Let me make sure you, can, you guys can see the dates. You see what's circled in there? Okay. And you see the name. And you see the name, right? Okay. That's what I made in 2019 from PayPal, from her. Okay? 154027. So I, in 2017 and 18. To you, Adrian Lancaster, what at, what's, may I ask what started this? I don't know what started it. The lady, I don't, I, I'm really trying to understand why, Adrian, I have never even mentioned you and you keep getting into this this situation. What started it is that your 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 who you work for, who you work for won't be honest. Who you work for is disgusting. Who you work for is rude. Who you work for is a liar. Who you work for is a phony. She has mental issues. She is a nasty, disgusting, miserable human being. She will not. She blames me for something that I had nothing to do with. That someone in someone that she's still around, someone that she's still around, is the cause of the problem she had. Why her friend of 17 years moved out the house. And so it had been seven years coming of dealing with her nonsense. I was no longer going to take the last, that was the last straw. 
people have no idea how good you have it. I know perfectly well. Everyone's life is perfect. That was gonna break me, because that was it. I was nobody and I didn't care. I just broke that down in paper form with printouts. So I'm just, I mean, I could go, I could go to my, let me go to my cash app so you can see it, so you can know that I'm not lying. Okay, because there's zero dollars in there. Hold on. Let me go into it. All right. Since we're since we're again I'm being questioned about all things that I say and do when I don't understand. Let me see. Okay, so hold on. That's the wrong one. Hold on. Let me put it in. I printed it. So they know why you're asking me what brought it on. The lady is constantly over in her Patreon in the comments talking, and I read that earlier. Okay, so again, let me go back to what I was talking about. 27, so in seven years, 20, in, in seven years on Cash App, I got $27,900. The lady's a liar. The lady's a liar. I, I, the lady's a liar. The, the, the issue is, the issue is, is that the lady is constantly talking about me, but I supposedly don't matter and I'm nobody. I just didn't exist. I just didn't exist. Okay. So thank God Gio didn't, uh, Gio didn't promote his other businesses that he had while he was working with her. Gio didn't promote anything else for Gio um, while he was working with her. While he was working with her, he worked with her solely. And he helped her when he could help her. My, my work is out there. It's proven. Okay. Before there was anybody else in the group, there was me. Just saying. So I don't have to, I don't have to defend that. So I'm just saying all the things that she says that she is. All the things. So, my friend, I didn't know her before. So, it happened. It happened naturally. We were from the jump. I was there from the jump. I did not feel that we had to have that. I did not feel that we had to have that. There was no reason for us to have that at that time. Okay? So, you got, you got, so you got the amounts of money I made. Okay, which I was supposedly I was supposedly bawling and running out of control and all these things. You got the amount of money you got that she doesn't get. She doesn't make any money from her book because she doesn't own it. She doesn't own that music, that first album, so she don't get money from that. Okay. Okay. So let's see what. I, so let's talk about. Let's talk about you know because I heard Kaya say on a camera. On one of her things one day, because that was sent to me as well. That I heard, I heard Kaya say that Madison pushed Miss Mary out of her chair and broke it. Now, Madison does not physically touch Miss Mary at all, like in that in that in that way in that way. So that was a lie. Okay, I'm not gonna lie on the lady just to lie on the lady. So that was a lie. But there was there was three people in the home. Okay, there was Scott. Which is kept secret. There was Miss Mary, and there was Madison when her chair broke. When Miss Mary's chair broke, within 24 hours, if that long, Kaya knew about that situation. Okay, when I left in February, within 24 hours, within 24 hours, Armand Wiggins knew why I left. On February 6th, with full detail, is my question is that within 24 hours, twice, with one individual that's there two times, that would lead me to believe that there's a mole in her system that she always blamed to be me. So you needed to be an adult and say it to my face instead of talking about me and bashing and doing all this nonsense and talking shit between the, you, you. You were you were late for talking about me behind it. Behind the closed doors and talking to everybody as if you didn't think I knew or when I walked into a room, you know, you have you have a problem. You have a problem with me dating white men. To tell me that until I until I got until I got OK with my father, I was never going to be happy. How dare you tell me about anybody getting along with my about my my father, my situation? How dare you judge me? Aren't you supposed to be the church lady? Aren't you supposed to be the church lady? So, so, 
So, so I, I'm just wondering, are you not the church lady? Have you not, Madison, have you and I not got into it for years because you were being disrespectful to me because I was dating, in your words, white boys? Did Craig, did, was, was Craig, did Craig not ask my mom? How you feel about Jill dating white boys? Remember, Miss Mary is Madison's mother. Madison gets it from somewhere. Don't, don't, at least you not forget it. Just, just be clear. Okay. Let, let's be clear of how nobody talked to me. Okay. So let, let's be clear that if you want to be honest. Oh, okay. Well, John Michael, you could not think that there's more, but there's a lot of things. Okay. But let's be clear. Miss Mary doesn't call Madison Madison. She calls Madison Boo or Tim. Her brothers call her Tim or brother. The problem is it within Madison. The problem is at home. But Madison puts it out on everybody else. She won't answer the phone, Raphael Rice. You missed that? She won't have a conversation. She's too much of a pussy. The real one is not real. She's not real like y'all think. That's not nothing that's not true. You can go through the videos and see it. I'm not telling you nothing that's not true. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've had problems with people since day one walking into the room with this person. I don't, I don't fault Chi Chi for not you know, saying anything against her because that's like literally like his mama. So I get it. And I, and I, and I'm, I'm glad for them having each other or whatever, but don't, let's not be, let's not forget that Chi Chi has left also because of her not giving a fuck about him. Uh, Natasha Jones, she has addressed me in public. Thank you very much. You think, yeah, that's why I told you guys to go to watch her subliminal on the, on the regular stuff. She has addressed me. So just do it subliminally. But if you go to her, her Patreon and pay her $5, you can see her address me with my name. It's a, the lady is a joke. The lady is so rich, but she makes payment arrangements on her, her $200 cell phone every, every month. Now let me say, I make payment arrangements, so I ain't above it. I'm not, it's not about, it's not about, it's not about, I'm not, Reese, I'm not saying nothing about Oliver, so what are you talking about? First of all, motherfucker, I say what the fuck I want to say. Watch your motherfucking mouth. Bitch, you ain't my motherfucking daddy. Bitch, you don't know me. Fuck out of here. Bitch, watch your motherfucking mouth. <laughs> Reese, you don't fucking know me, so watch your motherfucking mouth. I never fucked with you anyway, so, so cut it. <laughs> so cut it. Nigga, watch your motherfucking mouth telling me shit, bitch. This is my motherfucking page. Well, on my page with my life issue with me. Oh, okay, Reese. I apologize. I apologize. I didn't mean to go off on you like that. Because I thought you were telling me to stop by Oliver. I ain't with, I ain't with all that. <laughs> okay? So I ain't have nothing to say. I don't have nothing to say to Oliver in a derogatory way. I don't have nothing to say about Oliver and the drug. Oliver had a conversation with me. I said what the fuck I had to say. Okay? Okay? But that lady, which, which, which Adrian, since he was so busy to ask me why I was, where did this start from? Adrian said, the rest of that, the little white slips come in the mail all the time. Okay? Let's, let's clear up what we're going to clear up since you want to. Okay, Megan, you remember that. You're okay. You remember that. Okay? So this lady will tell y'all half a story and make it seem like it is what it is. Okay? Don't you don't want to you don't you, not not at all. Not at all. Not at all. You don't brag. I don't have a problem with anybody that makes payment arrangements. Like I said, I make payment arrangements. But I sure as hell don't get on the camera and say, Oh, I got money, bitch. Look what I got. Ooh, bitch, I'm the one. I'm the one. Nope, I don't do that. But she you know, I like I gotta you gotta because her new furniture. Right, she got to show y'all. See, I didn't even know James Robinson. Thank you for saying. She came on yesterday, I guess, showing her new furniture. Y'all got to see her furniture. Ooh, because ain't nobody ever bought furniture. Really? Really? She talked about She talked about all of us. She talked about Miss Eve like a dog to me. I should have known man what kind of bitch she was. Her supposed best friend that she screamed, jumped, shout, rhymed, dot, 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 all about. Her, her number one, she ain't never had a friend like Miss Eve. Bitch, you're full of shit. You treat everybody like shit. The only person you care about is yourself. 
Silver Young move, move, move from this. Okay. Anyway. How are you sustaining financially all these years? Natalie, Nicole, I had other businesses. I always had other businesses. I just never talked about it because when I was doing that job, my job was Mac management to represent my client, T.S. Madison. I don't have to toot my own horn. There's millions of people, millions of billions of people in the world. I sell, I sell my items all the time. I, you guys have seen my post. If you haven't, I have, I have several different businesses. It's, it's, it's not a problem. I pay my taxes. I can't say the same for T.S. I know what I know because I haven't seen taxes be paid since 2014. Oh, so I'm not supposed to say that? Oh. Oh. I wasn't supposed to talk about that. We pay taxes, right, T.S.? And T.S. was quiet. Y'all didn't wonder? I mean, call the thing a thing. Call it the fuck out. Bitch, I, you know what I did? Let me tell you what I did. So I knew that it was true. I gave you $5. I know you needed the $5 because you got bills over there. Like you like to say, you got real bills. You go not going to lie her just a lot, you know, just because, you know, I'm a millionaire and all these things. And yes, she has said she's frugal and she saves her money and I get all that. But you cannot say and shout and brag and boast and all you got all this. But your basement is like that. Your clock, your, 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 your house is atrocious. Your house is from 10 years old. It's so dilapidated and old. And my first time I walked in there, I was like, where's my room? I'm not so impressed. I know that you're impressed by this because her foundation is the street. Her own mama and her didn't get along. So she had to go out in the street and get and, and get. Yes, Selena, completely correct. Selena Cooper. But Madison's foundation is the street. So she had to go out into the street to get to get motherhood, to get fathership. To get these things, my dad was a piece of shit, but at least I had my dad to leave eight, till I was 18 years old. My mom and my dad. Okay? Yes, Kina, okay. So, Kina, do you want to talk about Funky Dineva? Well, let's talk about when we went to the Dominican Republic. Funky Dineva laid motherfucking T.S. Madison the fuck out. She ain't never told you that. Laid her to fucking doomsday. Laid her to doomsday. Told her she wasn't shit. Madison has a problem with everybody that's educated. When you go to college, the first thing she says to you, I know I'm not educated. And she said, if y'all really go back to videos and listen, I know I'm not educated. I didn't go to college to get nothing. She feels some type of way because her upbringing is supposed to be our problem because of her upbringing. We didn't do it. But, but Funky Dineva cussed her out. And if you think about it, after the Dominican Republic trip, when was the next time you saw Funky Dineva? Tell me if I'm lying. Think about it. Because you didn't see Dineva for a minute. I wait. This money, you shouldn't. Where's your basement? You, 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 yeah, now, according to, you know, I'm finding out you're showing off your furniture. So you find, you, the beds in the other, in the spare rooms are from 10 years ago from your old house in Marietta. Mm -hmm. Faye Washington, thank you. Yes, because they stopped. You didn't see Don even for a minute. Then they came back and then he came back. Yes. Yes. Just like, just like, you know, she was cool. She made up with what his, his, um, his boy name used to be, Dre Antonio. But now he's Sade. She is Sade now. And Sade, she had Madison went and had Cherry, De Cherry Boom on the show just to get back at Samantha. That's how petty and low down she is. Just when Cherry was a boy, Cherry as a boy raped Dre, at Sade as a boy, Dre. And he, she begged and pleaded with Madison not to have Cherry on the show. But Madison was about Madison and still had that person on the show. But she's supposedly cool and a friend with, with Sade. If there's not a person on your team, maybe it's just people you talk to. Or, or, or peers, people that that person talks to. I don't know, but that person is telling other people that they have seen, people have seen HIV medication in your bag. That's not me. I didn't do that. I have nothing to do with that. But these are you so called people. You so worried about me. You so worried about me accusing me because I'm the easy scapegoat. I'm the one that you want to go off on. They attacked her and attacked her and attacked her. Kaya is 20 minutes from her door. Kaya is 20 minutes from her door. I'm not reading her.